What's going on everybody? Uh, today is going to be is a little bit different for me because I don't do this a lot. I almost never, honestly. I think I've done one of these on the channel so far, so bear with me. I do want to get into this more than I have, but it's going to be kind of hit and miss because I don't have that deep of pockets. So uh, before I get too far, I am talking about reviewing a phone. <laughs> this particular phone, I'm going to actually take it out of the case. This particular phone is the Pixel 4a 5G. It's a lot to say. I've actually had this phone for a little over a month. I've had the phone for a month and I I like it. I like it. It's, it's a good phone. What my associate is trying to say is that... Uh... Our new brake pads are really cool. So let's kind of go around Let's go around the phone real quick and, and just kind of just take a quick tour around the phone So on the back uh, you have your camera hump and then you have what one of my favorite features ever on a phone is the Physical fingerprint sensor. I don't like in display ones. I never have I don't know that I ever will uh, but around top you have a mic and there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack Around the side here, you got your volume rocker and a power button. I really like how they did the power button here, how it's a different color. And I know Google does that a lot. Um, the white with the black, I really, really like that. Uh, around bottom, you have a USB-C charging port and you got your stereo speakers. Um, and then on the other side is completely flush. On the front of the phone, you got your display and then in this corner here, <laughs> in this corner over here, you got your front facing selfie camera. So first things first, I kind of want to talk about the battery life. Battery on this thing is fan freaking tastic. And I want to say, I'm not 100% sure, and I'll throw that over here, but I want to say is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, generally, I have probably moderate usage during the day, during the week, and I'm getting out of work. I end my work day at usually around 5 five thirty, and I'm getting out of work with normally about 70% battery now I'll end my night somewhere around like 20 and that's after playing games uh, streaming video watching live YouTube videos searching whatever the hell comes to my mind <laughs> so I do most of my heavy lifting at home after I get out of work and I'm still with a good 20 to 30% battery at the end of the night. So that to me is freaking awesome. I think the one thing that kind of disappointed me in a way, and I know, don't get me wrong, the camera is fantastic. I absolutely love the cameras. I mean, you got, it's, it's a pixel camera, right? The one thing that I don't like about it is it just, to me, it, it lacks the detail, even from what I had in my Pixel 3. And that's not to say that it's bad. It's just to say that it's not quite to the level that I was expecting. Considering that it's a newer phone, I know it doesn't have the Snapdragon 8 whatever processor was out when this when this first released. But I was still expecting it to have a decent cam. I mean, not decent, a fantastic camera. Let me rephrase that because it has a great camera, but I was expecting it to be better. Um, video is actually a lot better than I was expecting it to be. Pixels, obviously, I think we kind of all know that Pixels don't really do the best video. So this, the video on this was actually a lot better than I was expecting. Uh, portrait mode is fantastic. We all know this. Night mode, also fantastic. We all know this. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed by the 3.5 millimeter jack. It just doesn't have quite the oomph that I'm used to and that's kind of a not fair comparison because before this phone my main phone was the LG G8 and their headphone decks are kind of legendary or were I guess. Another kind of gripe that I have it's not really I don't know if it's a it's really a major complaint just more of a, a gripe that I have is we all know that the screen isn't as great as you know even as other screens because it's not a flagship phone it's it is uh, a 1080p screen which is perfectly fine in a in a mobile phone the only thing that I'm not that I don't really care too much about 
and it may or may not come across on video, but when you have a white background, the the viewing angles just to me aren't the greatest. If you're not right on the phone, it kind of has a like a pinkish screen change to it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but in my mind it does. And that is kind of annoying. I, I don't really care for that too much. There's not really a whole lot to say about this phone. It does what it needs to do. I don't really have any com any real complaints. Um, the screen is, is kind of me being a little bit picky. The headphone jack is me being 100% picky. Uh, the camera is also being picky just because I was expecting more, not because it's bad, just because I was expecting more. You know what I mean? So really, honestly, anything bad I have to say about this phone isn't really anything bad about the phone. It, it, it's really just more of me picking on something, for lack of a better term, because I don't have nothing to complain about. I, I don't play video games a whole bunch, but I the games that I have played, I haven't had any complaints. There's no lags, there's no stutters, there's no nothing. Uh, Asphalt 9 probably took a little bit longer to load than I would have liked, but playing through the game, uh, I didn't have any issues. There were no hiccups, there were no stutters. Watching video, consuming media, consuming content, I never had anything bad to say. The screen looks fine. The only thing that does annoy me, this and this does annoy me, I think this is a legit complaint, Maybe, <laughs> still first world problem. But when I'm watching YouTube, you know, and I go from portrait mode to landscape, it takes a minute to to recognize that it's in landscape and to switch over. That annoys the hell out of me. That is one of my annoyances with this phone. That to me should be quicker. Um, I've had budget phones uh, that are cheaper than this and I don't quite have that delay. I do have a delay. Uh, with pretty much any other budget phone that I've tried, but not quite to the extent as on the Pixel. So if there was one actual for real complaint that I had, that would be it. So at $500, I would probably pause. I think most of your money at that 500 bucks is gonna come from the, the camera. So if you take a lot of pictures and you want those pictures to look as natural as humanly possible, then that your $500, boom, is spent right here. It's too cheap to pass up if you're into mobile photography. Pixel 4a 5G. Uh, that's about all I got to say about that. I'm out. Later.